On September 1, the Russian army launched 10 missiles at Kharkiv, targeting civilian infrastructure. The attack resulted in 44 civilians being injured, including seven children. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky emphasized that the global community must mobilize all necessary forces to end this terror. There is damage to civilian infrastructure and casualties. The exact number is being clarified. There is still a threat of further attacks, Ola Sinihubov, the head of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration stated. Later, Kharkiv Mayor Ayer Terakov clarified that one of the strikes hit a residential area. Several homes and a supermarket are on fire. There are casualties, including medical personnel, he added. Sinihubov also reported that the damaged infrastructure from the airstrikes includes a shopping center, a sports facility, and residential buildings. According to Sinihubov, preliminary reports from law enforcement indicate that Iskander missiles were used in the strikes. Kharkiv Regional Prosecutor Alexander Filchikov reported that among the wounded are four children, two of whom are in serious condition. After this, the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed to have intercepted 158 Ukrainian drones in a large-scale attack overnight on September 1, allegedly targeting 16 regions across the country. The Russian Ministry of Defense, overseeing Russia's ongoing unlawful invasion of Ukraine, claimed that the UAV assault, Ukraine's legitimate act of self-defense was an attempt by a Kiev regime to conduct a terrorist attack on Russia. This year, Ukraine has intensified its drone attacks against the Russian oil industry primarily targeting oil refineries, thus significantly disrupting fuel supplies crucial for the Russian military, while simultaneously decreasing the Kremlin's export revenues. Lately, Ukraine has been striking Russian oil depots, supplying Russian troops with fuel and various military facilities, also focusing on aerial ammunition depots at Russian airfields. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, drones were shot down over various regions, including 46 in Kursk Oblast, 34 in Bryansk Oblast, 28 in Voronezh Oblast, and 14 in Belgorod Oblast. The ministry also claims that seven drones were intercepted over Moscow Oblast and two over Moscow City itself. The Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that the attack affected 15 regions, where Russia allegedly destroyed multiple drones, Kursk Oblast, 46 UAVs, Bryansk Oblast, 34 UAVs, Voronezh Oblast, 28 UAVs, Belgorod Oblast, 14 UAVs, Ryazan Oblast, 8 UAVs, Moscow. 2 UAVs, Moscow Oblast, 7 UAVs, Kaluga Oblast, 5 UAVs, Lipetsk Oblast, 4 UAVs, Tula Oblast, 3 UAVs, Tombov Oblast, 2 UAVs, Smolensk Oblast, 2 UAVs, Oryol Oblast, 1 UAV, Dver Oblast, 1 UAV, Ivanova Oblast, 1 UAV. Later reports indicated an attack in Yaroslavl Oblast, raising the total number of targeted Russian regions to at least 16. It is emphasized that the attack is ongoing and has even expanded to Yaroslavl. The Ukrainian attack has resulted in damage, injuries, and fires in many regions.